Da, da, da. We are live. There you go. Hello, folks. Really, we are live. Yep. Jolly good. Yeah. Well, off we go again. We hope, Facebook permitting, you never know these days. There seem to be so many things happening, so many fnorks and all, all kinds of technical stuff. We're trying a different tack today. Now yeah. we've got the new iPhone X facing sideways uh -huh. so hopefully because i just hate that when the guest takes the time and they're in a the little tiny box in the top right you yeah. know and they look like a postage stamp exactly yeah exactly. anyway uh the first thing i wanted to mention to all my friends across the pond is that steve tyrell is in london tomorrow night the 17th and he's at the leicester square theater in london if anybody's around do yourself a favor he is wonderful the last time he was in London, actually, he appeared at a, a slightly bigger venue. It was called Buckingham Palace. Yes. For a special guest of Prince Charles. But how's that for name dropping, folks, eh? Anyway, off you go. And, uh, you know, don't forget to go and see Steve Tyrell tomorrow night in London, 17. And Carol is on. And, and she's Carol, on. Oh, hello, Carol. Jolly good. I know it's been another wild and woolly week for us all. No matter which continent you're in, I mean, certainly never a dull moment, is it? But, <clears throat> pardon me, so pleased to be having as our guest today, Carol Wellsman, the talented, lovely Canadian lady. She's sold over 60,000 CDs in Canada. Oh, name drop. How's that for name dropping, I think Carol? it's even more than that, actually. I oh, think your yeah. numbers might well, be Well, yeah, I probably looked up something from a long time ago. You know me in research. And still uses an almanac. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I do indeed, yeah. But listen, Carol's done all kinds of things. She's toured extensively in Japan and Italy, Brazil, and the United States, of course. And she now lives here in California. So I hope we're going to be able to hook up if yep. Ruth can do the, the clever stuff. Yep. Yeah. We'll be oh, there. I have to name drop, first of all, for Martin's sake. Carol made a music video a couple of years ago called I Like Men. And one of the men she liked was a certain Martin Nethercutt. Oh, did that go to his head? Oh. He was barefoot in it too. Oh, I know, yes, he showed us his lovely It's a great feet. concept. We'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk on. about it, yes. She will be uh, appearing in LA at Vibrato on the 31st of October, but we'll talk about that when she comes on camera. So, uh, yeah, it'll be lots of lovely music and wonderful stuff. But first of all, I usually start off by telling you some of the wonderful things I've found out. News of the weird this week. I found somebody who paid over a million dollars for one bottle of Scottish whiskey. No. Yes, single malt in Scotland at an auction. Can you imagine? Did he drink it with Diet Coke? <laughs> with ice and lemon, I know. Can you imagine? I mean, would you drink it? Or would you display it in your window to make people envious? Or, I mean, just take it to bed and cuddle with it. That's probably what I'd do, me and the cats. But uh, I can never understand why people are compelled to spend so much money for collectible stuff. But uh, I mean, thank goodness uh, Banksy didn't get in there and shred it like, like he did with that picture last week. There've been so many memes about that now oh, too. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. very funny. Yeah, but a uh, lot of happy baby news going on. The Sussexes are going to be parents. And I'll tell you what, it really, really annoys me that they still say Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. She is no longer Meghan She's Markle. She's the Duchess of Sussex. She's the Duchess of Sussex, so give her the right title and the dignity. Absolutely. Wouldn't it be lovely to think that for her mother's sake, she'll have a grandchild who will be a princess? Rain Davidson says he'll sit and drink that $100,000 bottle of whiskey with okay, you. Okay, Rain, you're on. <laughs> Get over here, We've got right now. Kibworth South Leicestershire on. Oh, good. And Jim is enjoying your teas as well. Oh, good. The, fan, the fans are here. They're gathering to see the lovely Carol shortly. Yes, I'm sure you won't, won't be disappointed. Ruth and Martin got home late Friday night from a couple of days in Two Bunch Palms in the desert where they celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary. I know, 20th. right? Martin called it a spiritual oil change. And Martin always says, oh, it feels like... Just like 20 minutes and all the women go, ah, And then he turns behind his hand to the bloke and says, under F in water. Under water. <laughs> so, uh, listen, Ruth. Hi, Adam. Uh, hello. Hello, darling. Uh, is it time to wave your magic wand? Yes, get Carol indeed. on side? Let us get uh, Carol her. on. I Come see on. her um, tag with friends when they appear. I see Carol, but now her um, invitation has, uh, yes, your viewers, Carol Wellsman. I'm going to add 
sent. I've uh, invited Carol, but now her little green light has gone out. Maybe can you request to join again, Carol? And we'll see what happens there. Oh, I do see you. Stuff. I'm going to scroll back through my uh, things here. It says Adam <laughs> Cooper, Rain Davidson, Dave Powell, lots of folks on. Oh, hello, Peter Dave. Romanovsky, Michael Joseph James, Tiffany oh, Carey Gable. Jolly good. Haven't said crap yet. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm going to, here we go, bring Carol on camera. Add. Ah. So it says can't bring Carol on camera. Why? Come on, Carol, stand up. I don't Good know. Ah, here we go. Here she is again. Carol wants to be in your video. Approved. Oh my God. Facebook changes these buttons every darn week. I know. So it says adding, Hello. connecting, and there she is. Hello, darling. <laughs> Oh, hey, thank you for joining us, kiddo. I know you've... Oh, I'm, I'm so happy to join you. I'm, I'm technically inept, though. It took me a while. <laughs> oh, no, you all. did great. No. Oh, I mean, thank everything's you. Everything's changing, so it's not that you're inept. It's just it's all changing all the time. <laughs> Welcome aboard, finally. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. Where are you tuning in from today? I'm in Los Angeles uh, working on some arrangements for... Just like Ruth said, uh, or I'm sorry, Angie said uh, October 31st at Vibrato. Um, just, I've got my little studio here behind me and I'm working away like a busy beaver because I'm leaving town tomorrow on another tour. Gosh, yeah, amazing. So tell us about the 31st and Broad Street. How's that all fit together? Well, the it's very interesting because there are um, two very talented singers and arrangers one is Katina de Luna and the other one is Susan Martyr. And I went to see them live a few times and was so amazed by their talents of being able to arrange for strings and horns and, and, uh, and, and rhythm section. And one day I got a call saying, our third singer is no longer in the band. Would you like to come and join? And I said, oh, sure, I'd love to. And then I said, but I've never arranged for strings or horns. I've really only arranged for quartet. So they said, oh, it's, it's a breeze. We'll, we'll help oh. you out. Well, it's not exactly a breeze, let me tell you. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, it, it's fine. It, it, you know what? It's been a really good challenge and uh, it's going to be lots of fun to go to the rehearsal and actually hear all this stuff come together. Absolutely. Yeah. And tell folks wh when and where the show is in case they're in, in, the, in Barrie. Sure. It's at Vibrato, which is Herb Albert's club up in uh, Bel Air, which is in the Beverly Glen Center. And it's on October 31st. And you can come dressed in your costumes or come dressed as yourself. And we would love to have you. Oh, that should be fun. Great. Absolutely. So what about traveling plans? You, you've got the next few nights, you've got gigs coming up. I do, actually. We're, I'm going all the way to Cleveland tomorrow. And I've got a show in Cleveland on Thursday night with two musicians I've never played with, but you know, it's jazz, so we know how to improvise at the last minute. Uh, great players, Eric Johnson and Dan Wasson uh, on guitar and bass. Where is that? And, uh, What's the venue? Pardon What's me? The venue? What's the venue? Oh, it's What's the venue. Night Town. It's called Night Town in Cleveland. And okay. it's a great jazz club. It's been there for many years. And uh, then we go off to Pittsburgh to Wallace's Whiskey Room at the Indigo Hotel on Friday night. And then uh, Music Fair Theatre in Buffalo, in Amherst, on uh, Saturday night, the 20th. Great. Fair. Wow. So, yeah. I know, it's sort of a bang, bang, bang thing. And, uh, and then I'm going to go up to Toronto for a, a, a quick meeting and then back to L.A. Well, great. Well, you can't get that near to Canada and not go home for five oh, minutes. No, no. That's <laughs> I, well, that's we the thing. Once I'm in Buffalo, it's like... Sorry? So, you go ahead. No, I was just going to say, once you get up to Buffalo, it's only an hour and a half to Toronto. So I'm That's going nice. to have a yeah, late a, a, a dinner with the family and, uh, yeah. and a few business meetings, quick things. Yeah. 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 Um, we've had a lot of T-Flix guests from Canada recently. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's so many Canadian superstars in Hollywood from Jim Carrey and Pam Anderson to Mike Myers and yourself. <laughs> I mean, do you come down here to get away from the weather? <laughs> <laughs> That's part of it. I have to say, being being here in the winter is a lot nicer than in Toronto. Uh, but no, we, more really for the opportunity. You know, Canada is a beautiful country, and I'm very proud to be Canadian. Uh, I'm also very proud to be American now. And uh, and <laughs> I think that uh, 
there's a there's a the difference really is uh, that there's really no star system in Canada. We have, I think there's something in our water. We, we you know there's a lot of talent and uh, but it's it, even like the UK. The UK there's a there's a star system and here there's a star system. In Canada there isn't really. So in order to get beyond a certain point, you kind of have to come down here and get into the swim here. I see. That's yeah. I, I read some of that you had one time been a vocal teacher at a Canadian university. Did your interaction with the studi students there and impact your attitude toward performing in general? Well, it, it, I was actually on the faculty at the University of Toronto for seven years uh, back yeah. in the 90s. And yeah, I, ha I only ha I taught privately there and I had a few very small ensemble classes, but um, I have to say that that teaching is something that's always very important i think for any performer to 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 keep up because yeah. you not only reinstill a lot of the tools that you're giving to them in yourself that's because right. you know you you it's one thing you know sometimes i'll go a month without doing a concert well if i'm warming up with the student and i'm talking about uh how to to sing properly and to sing with the right feeling and all those things i'm kind of reinstilling it in myself that's right, I'm sure, yeah. Now, and knowing you were going to be on our show today, I looked up at your video from way back called I Like Men. Oh. <laughs> you did some fascinating men. Uh, I know. On Martin Nethercutt, I believe. I remember him well, and he was barefoot, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yes, and he's here. I think he was barefoot. Yeah. Yes, he was, he was barefoot. That's right. <laughs> oh, he enjoyed he that so much. It was hard to live with after that, actually. <laughs> so what, what, what led you to leave Collection and the I Like Men? Because it's, I mean, it was a Peggy Lee song, but it was a little known one to me. Yeah. Have you always been a Peggy Lee fan? I, I have. She was my dad's favorite singer, so I sort of grew up listening to her music. Yeah. And uh, when it came around to the idea of doing a tribute, album to Peggy Lee, I was very fortunate to meet her granddaughter who lives here in, in uh, Los Angeles, about two miles from me. Her name is Holly Foster Wells. And she oh. introduced me uh -huh. to, uh, she, she invited me over to her office, which was a veritable Peggy Lee museum. I mean, it was just absolutely chock-a-block with, with memorabilia, pictures of, of her with Cary Grant and with Dean Martin and, uh -huh. and Frank Sinatra. And then on one wall was a whole uh, collection of all her all her itineraries from her tours and the lighting cues for the shows and all kinds of things. Everything was was kept, all the facsimiles and so. It, uh, but the most important thing for me was creatively to be with Holly because she introduced me to that song, and she also introduced yeah. me to another one called uh, "Angels on Your Pillow," which I'm which I recorded, and I'm only the second person to record it. Um, but I like men. Had such a had such an allure to me because it was just so cute and fun and and then we just did it with the percussion as a, a, in the recording and and um, somebody in Canada had an idea they said why don't you do a video and uh, we applied for a grant and got the grant and we shot in this living room yeah that's eight right. men I yeah I know it's lovely I eight men yeah I love it yeah. And of course, Martin loves it, oh. needless to say. <laughs> <laughs> he looks, I, he, was, he was one of my favorites. He, he really was one of my favorite men. I have to say, he was really fun. <laughs> Watch it now. <laughs> well, you need, you, need one, you need one rock star in every jazz video, right? Exactly, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm saying he was one of my favorite men. On, on the I Like Men Day, we had eight men here, and they were from all different walks of life. It was really fun. And then asking right. the same questions and getting all the different answers. Yeah, sure. Anyway. It was fascinating. We'll please, post the link on please, the. If, sorry. Ah. We'll post the link on the thread under the video when yeah, we're done. Yeah, so people can oh, see it. Oh, great! Together. And please give, please give Martin my best. Give him a big hug. He's such a great guy. I will. <laughs> he's sitting right here, smiling. Yeah. He's just back oh, in from. He's just back in from a run, so he's camera shy because his uh, oh, his, his hair his, is looking his best. His, his mane is a little. Uh, he's 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 sneaking Come in on, to say hello. Oh, there he is. Cameo. A cameo. Has an age today. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I was wondering, Carol. How do you find Japanese audiences? Are they 
do they unwind at all? Because they're usually very reserved, aren't they? Do they unwind when they're with you and listening to your music? Mm, not really. Uh, I mean, no. but I, I, not, I don't find that they're, I mean, when you say that they're reserved, yes, it's true that one of the major things that I find is, is the language barrier because yeah. I'm, I'm quadrilingual, but I can't speak more than 10 words of Japanese. So I have my little thing when I go on stage. And so it, yeah. it's a little different for me over there because they're so appreciative of the music, but yes. part of my show is sitting chatting like we're chatting right now. I mean, yeah. between songs and the little stories. And so I find that that, that's, it, it's a little bit more of just a music performance because, um, yes. you know, the, I, I don't have the ability to uh, to make jokes, let's say, or to, to you know, <laughs> tell sort of humorous stories. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I tell you but, what, Karen, perhaps you could explain to our non-Canadian viewers what the Juno Awards are. Oh, for sure. Well, the Juno... Uh, a Juno Award is the is the Canadian equivalent of a Grammy Award. So we have our own show every, you know, awards show every year. And there's a voting process very similar to the Grammys. And uh, people submit their music and, and there are nominations. And then they, they're chosen, uh, you know, the same. It's basically the same system. So yes. I'm very fortunate that I've... Um, received six nominations for my I know, I incredible. well it's it I, I you know it it's really it does sort of remind me there, there are things that make you realize that what you're doing is pretty good or you know that, that I chose the right field let's say that it's Without just a nice doubt. nice feeling yeah. presumably you do not hold it on the same day as the Grammys because <laughs> God knows you don't hold anything on the same day as we do you had Thanksgiving last week Oh, when do you have Christmas? I, yes, I have Christmas? That's my, my favorite, my, my favorite dumb blonde question to ask my Canadian friends is, so what date is New Year's Day up there? <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll have to remember that. I know, I don't get yeah. the Thanksgiving. I think, I think what it is is the leaves change because it's quite a bit colder. You know, it's quite a bit farther oh, yeah. north. And yes. so the leaves change earlier. And so they decided that it would be always on the, on the same day as Columbus Day here. So, Oh, anyway. Columbus Day. Ah, ah, nice ah, yes. ah, now so now, uh, Carol, while you've got all these wonderful people all around the world watching you, what else do you want to promote or tell us about? Anything else oh. you've got going on? Or anything you want to sell them, in other words? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come I, on, I, have hats now. I haven't put them up on my website yet i've got carol wilsman caps i should have had one here to 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 to, uh, to promote uh they'll be up very shortly on on carolwellsman.com and they're really cute caps with a grand piano and my name along the back and oh, very uh, good. Oh, good. but they're, they're they're neat we, they sell a lot of, at the at the jazz festivals in the summers uh, but what i did you want to mention is make canada great again hat do you <laughs> uh-oh <laughs> Uh -oh, we usually try to be she went there. I went there, didn't I? Oh my gosh! Well, we—I may—I may, I may yeah. actually be moving back there for a, a short time with my husband. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah. Anyway, I did want to mention that the uh, uh, when you were mentioning the Japanese audiences, uh, my most recent CD, which is entitled "For You," uh, is available on Amazon and iTunes and my website. It's a solo album that was re released first in Japan. And all the music was chosen by the producer, uh, who's, who's the tour promoter, who really uh, is the biggest jazz promoter in Japan of all time. He's in his 80s now, and he's still producing and still touring musicians. Um, and we're, do we're doing volume two the day after Thanksgiving here. He's coming to record. Uh, it's, again, a solo album, but there will be some songs with bass and guitar as well. And the, that album was number one in, at retail in, in, in Tokyo for six months. So he's, like, he's dying to do the next version of it. So, yes. Yeah. Congratulations. All beautiful That's standards wonderful. and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, so wonderful. Fun. So, I'm and obviously, your, web, your website is carolwellsman.com, right? Mm -hmm. With one L. I always remind people it's one L. Oh, yeah. there you go. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I, I only know how to spell your name correctly because, as you know, <laughs> as you know, first first of all, you hired us for social media many moons ago, and yeah. then I was like, yeah. 
I, I, immediate fan and have, have followed you ever since. So I'm really thrilled that you had the time in your busy, busy, crazy yeah. life to join us today on T-Flix. Thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And I, I, by the way, I need to order my teas, Angie, for, for Christmas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's around the corner. I know. I know. It's creeping up. Yeah, yeah, we need to get the orders yeah. in. In fact, by October 31st, because we, we send for some of the teas from Canada, yes, you see. Do. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Really? No. Well, I mean, a couple of days later would be fine, but yeah. 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 So okay. as long as okay. it's by the end of the first Great. week in November, we'll be able to put your logo and everything on the back, and yeah. then you can Special give them message on the back label to your friends or whoever you give Your them logo to. and all that yeah. stuff. We'll customize them Isn't for you. Isn't that good? Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's a great touch. I didn't realize. Well, yes. I'm, I hope everybody comes out on the 31st of October. You know, after you give out your candy, you can come on up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to creep in now. We usually regale our guests at the end with a silly limerick and this being uh, almost to the midterms. But we are a TFZ, a Trump free zone, but we're still going to do our limerick for you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so come on down, <laughs> Sit beside your old mama. Squeezing on the chair. Uh oh, we can get three bum cheeks. We've got, we've got the lab. Oh, there's your baby. Oh. Sorry, Sorry, my babies are barking. Oh, it's I can okay. hear you. So, um, here's our farewell limerick to uh, all of you. I don't care what you vote, but just get out and vote. Yes. Okay. okay. One, so, two, three. Like, like me, are you proud of elections? And bombarded to make it so And whichever side wins, we are stuck for us with the crown with the biggest collection. Ta da! Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for bye joining. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay. Thank Great you. to see bye you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.